Hey Aries, welcome to the channel. It's Tara Lynn. Today I got a collective message for you. So for your card, you have death, six of lasers, ten of lasers, Encina planets, three of rockets, ten of rockets, inside of rockets, and the king of comets. So the way the cards read to me, this is about your love life. With the death card, it's kind of like there's someone in your life who you yeeted out of your life. You were like, I don't want anything to do with you. It's like you ran from this person. Because you have that followed by the six of lasers, which is all about growing apart, moving on from someone. But then you have the ten of lasers, which is making me feel like you regretted this decision like here you are you ran from this person you ran from the situation and you ended up alone and you ended up like not finding what you were looking to find and I feel like for some of you it's like you left this major relationship or this person who was like very secure very solid what you needed but it's like you weren't ready for them and with the Encina planets this is showing a lot of growth for you it feels like you matured you've grown up and you've done a lot of hard work and reflection with yourself I think in the past you had a lot of tendencies to self-sabotage and I think Part of the lesson you had to learn is that in previous relationships, you would cling on so hard to these people who weren't good for you. Like you were attached to these toxic patterns, these toxic cycles. And so you thought you were correcting it. Like you thought you were doing the right thing by not allowing yourself to connect that deeply with anyone else. And so at the first sign of things becoming serious, it's like you booked it, you ran. Um, and you thought that's what you needed to do to heal. But I feel like, after you realize that you weren't happy without this person anymore, you did a lot of work to heal yourself and realize what is actually toxic for you. It's not about attaching to people or running away from people. That in itself can be extremely beneficial for you. It's about knowing who the right person is to do that with. It's knowing who's a bad person who you shouldn't attach to versus who's a good person that you should hold on to. And I feel like that was something that it took you a while to learn. It feels like this could be someone from your past. Like it does not feel like this is a very quick process. It feels like it's been years in the making for you. And especially with the 10 of lasers, there's been a lot of distance between you and this person. Like they're not in your life. You don't really even have a way to contact them. I think some of you might know them like on social media, but it's not anything where it's easy for you to reconnect. But with the three of rockets, it feels that they are going to be reaching out in some way. It's like karmically, your paths are going to intertwine because here you have the shadow of someone waving at you. And so this person is going to get your attention. I also feel there's some of you where you're actually going to be reaching out to them, but there's going to be a direct sign from the universe in order for you to do that. It's not just going to be you deciding to message them one day. It's like there's going to be some sort of sign where intuitively you know I need to reach out to them. But it feels like there's going to be this reconnection between you and this person from your past that allows you to kind of like own up to what you did with the ten of rockets um, explain yourself and just get some sort of closure on this situation and I think it's actually like a second chance at love with this person because you have the Encina Rockets, which is that passion, that chemistry, that spark. And then you have the Camp Comets, which is showing this person's stability, showing their emotional vulnerability with you. And I think they're very empathetic to you. It feels like this person genuinely cared about you. Um, and I don't feel like that's something that truly went away. I don't feel like they were actively thinking about you. It doesn't feel like there's an obsessed energy because a King of Comets is someone who's very well balanced. But this is someone who's always had a lot of love for you, even when they didn't fully understand understand things even when they were hurt by you. It was never a situation in which they had any ill will towards you. It feels like they were very confused, they were very hurt. They didn't fully understand why you ran from them. But because it's been so long, I think like there's been time for both of you to gain some perspective, learn other lessons in life through other people. And I think when you reconnect, there's going to be this connection that's still there that both of you now have the tools to build upon that you didn't have before. It doesn't feel like you're going to run from them this time. It feels like something good can actually come of this and I feel like there's going to be a little bit of like fight or flight internally for you because your old instincts are going to kick in to tell you to run but I think you've done a lot of inner work on yourself you're not going to allow that to happen and so for you Aries it really feels like you're getting a second chance at love with this person. For those of you where this isn't a romantic situation it feels like there's been limited contact with someone who's very important to you in some way. This could be a family member or this could be a friend of yours and it feels like you need to be back in each other's lives and the universe is pushing you back towards one another um, because there's more for you to do in each other's lives there's a lot of positive opportunities that will come up for you by having this person in your life again um, and I think that's something you learn with the ten of lasers when you kick this person out of your life when you ran from them 
you realize it's just kind of how shitty things were for you. It's almost like you thought the grass was going to be greener than you got there and you were like, oh fuck, it's not. But you didn't have the tools to do anything about it. And it's like, now you do. And I think it's really fitting. And like, you have the major arcana as the death card. And it's like, this was a situation that you thought was dead. You thought it was done with. And now it's like, this situation is being reborn. A new outcome can come of it. Again, it's like a second chance. This is something that like, you never thought would happen. It's not like you planned this in any way. It's going to be very shocking to you because like I said you're not in each other's lives and I feel like some of you it's like you don't know who this is because they don't stand out in your mind because it's been so long you've kind of forgotten about them but energetically like you're still connected and then when they reach back out to you it's like all of the puzzle pieces are going to click into place but it really feels like there's a really good foundation here for you to get a better relationship when that is actually healthy for you and that stems from the inner work you've done with yourself be very direct with this person about what you're looking for with them. Be very direct with your boundaries. They are the king of comets here. You're not going to scare them away. They are very grounded. They're very rational. They're empathetic and emotional in a healthy way, but they don't let their emotions control them. So you're not going to scare them off. Say what you need to say. Be authentic with them because you've already pushed them away before. Don't go into this trying to have your guards up and trying to protect yourself. Like this person doesn't want to hurt you. To me, it really feels like the universe is giving you a second chance for them coming into your life. They're not coming into your life so that they can break your heart. Um, this isn't something where it's like, I'm gonna get revenge on you and do the same thing that you did to me. Like this person feels very mature. It feels like the initial conversation might be to get some closure or understanding on it, but then things will develop from there. And so it's not like this person's gonna reach out and say, I'm still in love with you, I wanna go on a date with you, but there's gonna be some form of a conversation or friendship that ignites this spark for you two that eventually a relationship can blossom from. And so again, this is gonna be a slow process for you. This isn't the universe coming in and saying, hey, you're gonna get married next week but this is the universe saying hey you liked this person they still care about you the timing is right you both have grown you're ready for one another now and so it doesn't feel like there's anything you need to be afraid of with them just be authentic be yourself with them because they care about you you care about them and this is just the universe opening up this pathway that you thought was once blocked to you and lost to you and they're showing you it's not and I feel like for a lot of you this is really good because you've been independent like you know yourself you figured things out and now it's time to let someone else into your life be vulnerable with them and not be so on guard I feel like the reason this person's coming back from your past is because the universe doesn't want you to be so afraid to open yourself up and to love again they want you to be optimistic I feel like sometimes you tend to be a little bit guarded and reserved when it comes to opening up to others and that's because you feel like you've been hurt before and you feel like the only way you can protect yourself is by always having one foot out the door the universe is trying to teach you this time that you don't need to do that and so it feels like blessings are coming for you the universe has your back and this second chance is going to be a really good blessing for you it's going to bring so many new positive opportunities for you because regardless of where the future takes you with them you're teaching yourself that you're lovable, that you're worthy of being treated right, and that you can heal from toxic situations, that there's nothing that you can't fix, there's nothing you can't overcome. Even something that you thought you would never have an opportunity to fix, you now do. And so you might not always be able to bring closure to everything, but you can find peace with it, you can accept it, and you can move on. And you don't need to let limiting beliefs control you. You have the power to fix things and to live the life that you truly want. And so I just feel like this is your spirit guides like showing you like things do work out for you. It's going to be okay. Even if you don't see the plan, if you don't see the path, they got you. The universe has your back. And so I'm so happy for all of you. Let me know in the YouTube comments down below if this resonated for you. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share with others. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this family. I post new videos every single week and I'm going to have more videos so my link to the cards above for you to watch next. If you want to purchase your own reading, I do sell them. You can check out my Etsy shop or you can message me on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok to book a custom reading. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I hope you have a good one until then. Bye.